Attorney Lisa Bloom and Deborah Opry are here with me in the studio as well. She was completely emotional, and we saw them crying together. And it was one of the most emotional moments we've seen all week. Thank you, Ryan. Do you ladies buy those emotions? Um, you don't buy it, Deborah, no? No, I live in a courtroom every day of the week. And I am telling you that people who, you know their testimony, you know what's coming, it is cut and dry. This stuff with this emotional outburst and dabbing the eyes and, <laughs> and the mother... You blew, did that no. get delivered? I'm so, I didn't buy it. I'm sorry. You know, well, kids just, hit developmental milestones when all of a sudden they're able to do things. Well, two years old. The kid could have suddenly over. gone up and climbed in the ladder, got in the pool. Happens all the time in this world, right? Yeah, but People the question die. is... Did it who was, yeah, and, and who was taking care of the child then? It's it coulda, woulda, shoulda. It's it's all what if. Now, is this enough to prove reasonable doubt? That's At the question. At this point in time, I don't it's know. It's the number one cause of death of kids under five, drowning. And it only takes once. It well, takes that one time when they got up and over negligent into Negligent endangerment yep, right. of children. Yeah, but maybe that's what they were hiding out from. Maybe why that's always a cover well, right. Deborah, last word, a then I gotta go. full of people, and the child knows how to open the door, climbs up the ladder. You know, I, I'm just not buying it. Okay. Deborah, Lisa, thank you very much. Ryan, thank you. I've got much more to come. Back with attorneys Lisa Bloom and Deborah Opry. What was all that? What did we just see? <laughs> Bad acting, John? <laughs> no, no, but I mean, all these. So I mean, this is all in the family. Lisa, all in the family. They just don't get it right. I get what? that, but I want to know what went on in the courtroom there. What, why all those interruptions? What was it they oh, were trying to... Oh, it's objection. Just trying to interrupt the question, right. question and answer session. Just to you guys, it made sense. To yeah, me, it made no it sense. It made sense because every time you ask a question, a good attorney will object because so you fall them off. So Deborah's got a good flow going with the witness. I don't like that, right? Oh, I don't like I her. So I'm going to jump in objection, and I think of a reason. Leading. Uh, Leading. Ambiguous. Uh, ask and answer is right. lame, lame objections, but... It knocked the witness off kilter. And the judge allowed it. And it was like, uh, uh, I can't think of it. The rest what, what, of it. What was I right. talking about? Yeah, was that's I, right. it where's my the script? Throws the witnesses off, too. It it's very like, hard to sit there with a lot of objections flying. I get that. And it seemed like the other area that they were trying to interrupt was anything about uh, Casey's nefarious uh, okay, criminal that's past. A, that's important. It's called prior bad acts in the law. And they're not supposed to be coming not, into not the trial. Not ever prior bad acting, as you have suggested. <laughs> so. no, 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 prior no. bad acts. So, but the, so the jury is not supposed to hear about her bad check writing and other things that she's done in the past that aren't relevant. But, and here's the big but, if the defense opens the door uh, right and that door opens by asking questions along those lines then it can come in not only for the defense but the prosecution can bring in all the prior bad stuff well, the they opened the door and said it's all you can eat come on down the, you know the credit cards everything it, it's the prior bad acts eh, i don't agree with well, that the prosecution kept saying open door open door so that's yeah, what they meant when they the door, door you open the, the door. door so therefore allow me to ask questions yeah. now about casey's prior bad acts which yeah. they did they did ask that but yeah, some of that though gate. Wasn't some of that an attempt to get the focus on the law enforcement being already biased towards Casey? Yeah. That every time they came over there, they handcuffed Casey, they looked at Casey, and then they, whatever Wait. bad acts they had on, on record, they let go because they wanted to the do jury, the investigation Lisa, do on agree? the child? The jury doesn't care about how insincere and rude law enforcement were. They, they want to know who is she? What did she do? And what happened that day? But the jury will care if law enforcement made up its mind. They if they had a rush to judgment, if they like didn't the look at other possible alternatives, like the defense is saying now that the baby died accidentally drowning. Did law enforcement appropriately look at that? Or did they jump to the conclusion immediately that she's a murderer? But when did you tell them? Well, the other thing is I think people at home would get angry about the fact that the, what, what we all see about Casey, the stuff that makes us so angry, the jury might not be seeing. I think that would infuriate people at home. You mean like the, the this, argument sidebar the and the... stuff uh, we're talking about in terms of the prior acts. You know, all the crazy stuff that Casey was doing that shows us that watch this. Well, Not such a good. Lot of it. They've heard about her her partying, for example. I mean, that's probably the biggest. Most people would think partying when your little daughter is missing and maybe dead is a lot worse than writing bad checks. And I would say, by the way, the emotion that I saw on Casey today was precisely what I would expect to see every time they bring up Kaylee. That's exactly what yeah, I expect to see. Not. not when Lee talks. And when you I would expect when they talk like about to know Kaylee. More about that relationship between well, Lee weird. and Casey. Something's and you're never wrong. Gonna know about Some, it. Does anybody agree with me? I think something Something's is up with wrong. that. Something's wrong. You're saying yeah, that no, too? No, 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 don't do that. I, I disagree. <laughs> Tell I, us. No, I don't want to jump on this family. I think everybody jumps on the bandwagon on this family. And I've been in high profile trials with people. It is the hardest thing in the world. Are these perfect people? No. All right. But I'm not going to indict the brother and the parents but who've that's been through hell and back. I don't think it's appropriate. The family is doing it and you're saying it's the wrong thing to attack them the defense for casey is saying what a screwed yeah, up family she came from standards for how i live my life than casey anthony well does. guess what 
Guess what? That family may too. be dysfunctional. That family may be dysfunctional, but does it have a cause to say that's the reason why she may have killed the child and then, or it was accidental and well, she hid it for know. 31 that's a days? Lot of assumptions. You're assuming that all of Casey's allegations are true. I don't think you can say a true, dysfunctional family is an excuse murder. for murder. But, you know, I don't mean to come across so hard in my. Um, disbelief at the behavior of the family witnesses today, but the reality is, in the real world, it should be cut and dry, here is the evidence, for the brother to be acting like he did. It is way over the top, and I think the jury is going to react differently Negatively. than what the defense wants. But I Negatively. think his testimony is very important anyway, frankly. He wasn't said he wouldn't get to go I, to the I, shower. I, Who cares? Ladies, Deborah Lisa, thank you so much. I just